Hello everyone. This is RP Akshay Kutu. I'm here to teach you about the new seven management tools in TKR. As you can see, they have been listed behind me. Those seven tools constitute of affinity diagram, relations diagram, tree diagram, arrow diagram, matrix diagram, matrix data analysis diagram, and process decision program chart. So what is an affinity diagram? Affinity diagram is something that helps to find the causes for every effect that happens. So what do you mean by an effect? Effect is something which can range from a defect in a product to failure which is happening because of a bad design. So how does an affinity diagram help in solving this or bringing the causes into picture? So what they do is they involve every employee in the management and then they constitute of a brainstorming session where free flow of ideas are noted down and stuck onto a piece of board. So once they are done, they are tried to group into uh, many topics, many relevant topics which could have gone wrong and then those ideas based on the relevance are being sorted down into this. Ultimately, this constitutes of the affinity diagram and it is the very basic tool to solving any problem. So what is the relations diagram? Relations diagram is a diagram which shows the relationship between the causes identified in the affinity diagram. So what does it achieve by doing so? By doing so, it shows the root cause and the driver cause. Root cause is the cause which does not have a parent cause to itself and the driver cause is the end cause of every other cause and in this diagram we can see that it has the maximum number of arrows pointing to it. Next we will have a look at the tree diagram. So what is the tree diagram used for? Tree diagram helps to generate a set of plans for the actions to be carried out in order to complete the objective. This is usually drawn after the affinity diagram where the causes have been identified. So once the objective is known and the causes to be identified all are also known, then we split them and draw this as objective, means and sub-means. Next comes the arrow diagram. So what is an arrow diagram used for? In order to complete complex projects, we use arrow diagrams. Arrow diagrams is a planning tool which splits up small processes and gives the direction in which we have to complete each and every process. Basically, it is a guideway through which a procedure can be followed in order to complete a bigger task. Here, we can see the task split into each smaller tasks and then directed so that once you finish the first task, which task has to be finished next is identified through the arrow diagram. In this diagram, we can also see that one, the one task is placed right below the other. So what does that mean? This means these are parallel tasks which can be completed at the same time. Whereas this task and the task towards the right of it can only be completed after the left task has been completed first which will pave way for the right task to be completed next. In this arrow diagram, we can find out the critical path which means the time taken for each task to be completed. By doing so, we find out which task takes the most amount of time and we can plan our uh, procedure accordingly so that we, we are able to complete everything in time. Next, let's have a look at the matrix diagram. So what is the matrix diagram used for? Matrix diagram is used to analyze two or more variables and find the correlation between them. So, how does it do it? By drawing tables in the form of L or T or Y or in 3D, these analyses are done. 
the correlation between the variables is given by symbols here a triangle says that the relation between them is very less the correlation between them is very less the effect which one has on another is very less whereas a circle denotes that the effect is mediocre whereas concentric circles represent that the effect which one variable produces on the other is very severe so this way we are able to find out the correlation between two variables next we'll have a look at the matrix data analysis diagram this is a diagram which is similar to the matrix diagram wherein two or more variables are analyzed and the correlation between them is found so how is it different from the matrix diagram in matrix diagram we can see that we use symbols whereas here we are going to grade them between number with numbers between 1 to 10 where 1 is less severe and 10 is more severe by adding every column what we do is finally we get a number and if that number is the highest then that means that is the most important cause which has to be taken care of right now Move. finally let's have a look at the process decision program chart so what is this do this helps to formulate a contingency plan for every action there is say in this case a person is supposed to give a guest lecture in some college so this option so of reaching to that venue is by taking his car but what if that car breaks down so that is when pdpc comes into the picture and helps to formulate two contingency plan which is hiring a taxi or using the public transport likewise if you see he uses a laptop to give his presentation what if the laptop does not contain the file so there is a contingency plan where he can store the file in a cd or a pen drive and then bring it to that so this is how basically a pdpc works and these seven tools are very important to management in dqa thank you